Hello, welcome to episode 18. So in the last episode, I discussed on the CAD system. So in this episode, I decided to introduce 3D models and the different types of 3D models. I hope you enjoy. It's, yeah. So the aims and learning outcomes of these videos are to introduce the different types of 3D models and the certain issues regarding each type of 3D models and also to address the question of how 3D models are displayed on a 2D screen. So the learning outcomes are hopefully that you're able to describe what is a wireframe model, what is a surface model and what is a solid model and how they are defined and what separates one from the other. Next, I hope you're able to list several issues to check before sending the file that you want to be 3D printed. Yeah. So to start it off, there are three types of 3D models. First, there's the wireframe model. Basically, it defines the vertices and the edges. Next, there are, there are the surface models. Basically, it defines the vertices, edges, and the faces. Lastly, there's a sol the solid model that defines the entire solid. Yeah. So now let me go through in a bit more detail what is a wireframe model. Basically, a wireframe model is what you'll see in the picture shown. The vertices, which are the red color points, are defined as point coordinates, most likely in a Cartesian coordinate in which there is an x, y, and z. Then the edges, which is, which is shown as a yellow color tube, are defined by a curve equation that's bounded by the two vertices. So yeah, next. So in this slide, you can see what I was explaining earlier of vertices. So the vertices x, y, and z are on a Cartesian coordinate, as you can see, x, y, and z. So these are the three main, there are three main planes. You can see the, one of the planes are x and y, the other plane is on z and y. And the last plane is on z and x. So these are the vertices in a Cartesian coordinate that you would find in most 3D modelers. So yeah. Next, we would like to know how, how is a curve defined. Basically, curve can be a polynomial curve. For example, the simple equation of y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. So you can see that this curve is only on the x-axis. So to have a curve on the three axes, it will be a bit more complicated. As such, I believe the parametric curve equations could represent, could define such a curve. Other types of curve are the Bezier curve and the B-spline curve. Basically, these two curves allow users to have more control over the curves instead of being just a very, a very static curve that is defined by an equation, the Bezier and B-spline curve allows the user a bit more abil ability to locally control the curve in the 3D space. So yeah, the next type of models we have is the surface model. Basically, each of the surfaces face lies on a surface that is defined by a surface equation. Each face is then bounded by the edges and vertices, as you can see from the picture shown. So yeah, so surfaces like curves can be defined polynomially. So you can see this ax plus by plus cz equals d. So if you want to know more about such surface equations, you could YouTube them. Other ways that surface can be defined are by parametric surfaces. Basically, parametric surfaces are patches of surfaces that are joined together to form a larger surfaces. And then we also have the Bezier and B-spline surfaces. Basically, they are derived from the B-spline and Bezier curve, so it allows a bit more control over the surfaces, I believe, in a 3D Cartesian coordinate. So yeah, let's move on. 
last but not least, we have a solid model. So for solid models are 3D shape, which has a closed volume. You can also determine whether a point is inside or outside. So a solid model basically is defined by Boolean operations of geometric shapes. In the case of CSG, constructive solid geometry. So basically it's solid models are usually from from already existing solid geometries like a cube, sphere, pyramid, cylinder. Basically it's just the Boolean operations of these geometries that form your solid models. In the case of CSG once again. So yeah, let's move on to the next slide. So on the next slide, we have the issues regarding the different models. So basically for surface models, what I would like to point out is that make sure that there are no gaps or holes between each surfaces. If there are, then you have to use a model editor to help fix the holes and gaps. Next are are the surfaces self-intersecting as you can see from the image on the right. So once again, if you have such a problem, you do need a model editor. Basically, they are either Magix or NetFab. So yeah, next slide. On the next slide, we have issues regarding solid models. Basically, what I want to point out is whether to check whether are there trap volumes because for certain 3D printing processes like the SLS or just any powder bit fusion kind of method, if you have trapped volume and the powder materials get trapped in the mo model, that's not exactly what you want. And also, are the features too thin or too small? For example, if you are using the fuse deposit modeling and if your model have really fine details, the printer might not be able to print out the shape for you because the features are just too thin and uh, and it's just not possible. So other issues on solid models, basically, I think it's very important to design your part for 3D printing so that at the end of the step, the orientation of your model is already pre thought of and you you don't have to like try to orientate your model in such a weird angle for the print to turn out well. So these are the issues that I feel that one should take note of. So yeah, next. So in the last episode I had a question on like how how do 3D models get displayed on a 2D display? Basically, the answer is that through planar projection. What it means is that if you have a 3D model like the cube, as you can see in the picture, if you draw perpendicular lines from each vertices onto a plane, you will realize that it actually creates the 2D to the image of your 3D part. So basically, this is how a 3D shape is displayed on a 2D display from by your computer screen. So I hope this answered your question. And yeah. So lastly, we have the summary. So I know in this video, I didn't really go through all the equations of curves and surfaces because basically I want to keep this video related more to 3D printing than on to mathematics of some sort. So once again, I hope to summarize the video. So wire models are basically what you will find in like AutoCAD kind of software in which you are doing some technical drawing some 2D technical drawings. So you'll probably draw a wireframe model. Next, we have the surface model. I think the surface model is very common because all STL files are really, are really actually just surfaces, surface models. Lastly, we have the solid models. 
So solid models are models that are generated mostly by SolidWorks or Autodesk Inventor. Basically they're solid so they have a volume in them. So I hope you know the different types of models and basically how the computer actually tries to define such models and so that it can represent such models on your 2D screen. Last, last point that I discussed on this video are issues to check basically for surface models and solid models. Basically if you, if you do check such issues then it will be so much easier for the person that's going to 3D print the models for you. So I hope you enjoyed this episode 18 and yeah next we have the references. So for the references, once again, I would like to point out that this video can, would not be possible without all these references and I'm really thanks to all the references. Firstly, I'd like to thank Prof Toshu Bing and Prof Lee Yong Sui for teaching me the course on MP3005 during my undergrad days. So the module was called on Computer Aided Design by from Nanyang Technological University. Next, I would like to reference the background picture, the chalkboard, the chalkboard background. Then I would like to reference the wireframe model illustration. I thought it was quite good as well. Yep. So next, I would like to thank the illustration for the surface model. As you can see from the link, things by Autodesk. Then I would like to thank the illustration on the solid model. And here is my shape ways. Next, I'd like to thank the illustrations on the issues for the surface models. And then I would like to thank the illustration that showed how 3D models is projected on a 2D plane. So it allows users to view it on your computer screen. So once again, I thank you for watching episode 18. I would just like to say that this these videos are really going to be very iterative because i'm going to try my best to finish the entire course and then once i'm done i'm going to go back to episode one and redo it and to make it even better than the first time i did it so thank you once again and hope you stay tuned for episode 19 then thank you